All right, so let's talk about the hand cannon in Bioshock Infinite. Uh, a lot of people consider this to be the best weapon in the game for a lot of, well, for a few reasons. Uh, I actually consider it to be the best, if not, like, one of the best weapons in the game. I think the sniper rifle is comparably strong, like, it's about as good as this. Uh, the big difference is the sniper rifle has an insane zoom, and with the fire rate upgrade, it fires about as fast as the hand cannon, and both can deal one-shot headshots against most opponents, uh, killing them in one hit. Uh, so the hand cannon is primarily used to one-shot headshot enemies. It has good range and accuracy, so I'm actually going to kind of center this here. So you can see here the accuracy is pretty good. Uh, you can also ADS, which doesn't really increase the accuracy, but it gives you a zoom so you can make longer distance shots. So the weapon uh, primarily should be used to kill like single enemies, obviously, because it can only kill one enemy at a time per shot. So it really excels in small engagements. Uh, it can also be used in larger fights uh, when you're holding a position and like shooting enemies in the head. The main downside of this weapon is that it cannot hit multiple foes at the same time, so if you're getting overwhelmed, you're going to have to rely on Vigors or a secondary weapon. Like, if there's, like, five or six enemies pushing you, um, unless you, like, kind of move, like, behind something, like, so let's say enemies are running through here, you're kind of, like, moving behind this as you're killing, like, shooting them, that's totally possible, that's definitely a viable strategy. Um, but if you're getting overwhelmed and there's a bunch of enemies near you and you need to do something about it right now, like, you're better off using a Vigor really quick, like Bucking Bronco, um, Devil's Kiss is really good with this because it makes up for your inability to deal damage to multiple targets. Uh, the weapon is really strong. Uh, ammo can be scarce towards the very end of the game, however, you can always buy ammo, so that's not an issue. The ammo isn't that expensive. Uh, the reserve isn't too bad on it, so it can have a decent amount of reserve ammunition. So here's Slade. Or slates or whatever. Uh, so, should you invest in this weapon? Uh, you definitely can. Uh, this and the sniper rifle are very similar. Uh, the difference is the sniper rifle can zoom in very far, and the hand cannon is by default, without any upgrades, better at like closer ranges. However, once you get the fire rate increase on the sniper rifle, you do have access to a fast rate of fire, which makes it just as good as the hand cannon. Uh, for close range, they're both uh, like basically 100% accurate. Uh, I don't know which is really better here. But... So the upgrades for the hand cannon are a 25. There's two 25% damage increase upgrades. There is a increased reload speed by 50%, which I don't know why it says increase. Um, should be decreases reload speed. Uh, that it's actually worded increases. Um, and then there's a 20% decrease in recoil. Uh, the decrease in recoil, I don't even recommend getting, because the recoil on this thing is not even that bad. I mean, by the time you can shoot again, your shot basically recenters, so I wouldn't really worry about that. I would just use it as is. Help me out with this uh, it also oh, this won't take long. Um, same, isn't it? is pretty cheap to run. Like, it's the ammo isn't too expensive, so you don't really have to worry about like you know burning through your cash. Um, but I, I would I always I always advise running this and upgrading it. Uh, it's just such a powerful weapon. Uh, if you don't want to run this, run the sniper rifle. They're really similar. But yeah, the main downside is that it can't deal with multiple foes easily, unless you're extremely accurate and you land every single headshot and hold angles well. Uh, but it can it can be used in this way. You just have to be really skillful. So it's it's one of the weapons, one of the few weapons in the game that has room for like. Oh, like a huge amount of like skill ceiling like it has a higher skill ceiling than uh, most of the other weapons um, I'm gonna go over the carbine next. I actually don't like the carbine because it requires too many headshots to score kills Especially as you get like through the mid game towards the end game, but Yeah, I definitely recommend running and investing in the hand cannon. It's really strong uh, Like it's it's considered the best weapon in the game by most players. So and there's a reason for that, but, but yeah, that's the hand cannon Thanks for checking us out and I'll see you in the next one